how to set up Google Ads for a YouTube video. This video is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough tutorial on how exactly to set up Google Ads to promote your YouTube video. I'm going to take you over the shoulder into the Google Ad account, show you how to connect your Google Ad account with your YouTube account, and how to create your first campaign to promote a YouTube video on your YouTube account with Google Ads so that it can get more views, more watch time, more subscribers, and overall grow your YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and jump into the Google Ad account to show you how to set up your first Google Ad for a YouTube video. Okay, so here we are in my computer. And as you can see, I'm in a Google advertising account. Now, if you don't already have a Google advertising account, you're gonna need to go ahead and create one, navigate through all the settings, and get to the page that looks like this, where you can go ahead and create your first new campaign. Once you've joined me here, you'll notice I'm in a different view. So you might be in this new Google advertising view. So if you change it to this, it might look like this. Um, Google advertising also has a new look. So if you use the new design, it might look something like this. I'm going to use the old design as I personally like that a little bit better. But just so you know, uh, Google ads might look like this new design. If you go ahead and create a new Google advertising account, you want to follow along with what I'm doing. You can go ahead and change the appearance to look like the uh, old design and change the view and it'll look like this. Okay, now. Once we have the Google advertising account set up, the first thing that we're going to need to do is actually connect your YouTube account to your Google advertising account. You are going to need a YouTube account. You're going to need that for either your business or your personal brand, whatever it is. You're going to need to have a YouTube account already created. And that name of your business of your YouTube account is what is going to show to people. And when they are able to click on your advertiser link, it's going to bring them to your YouTube account. So you're going to want to make sure to connect that with your actual business or personal account so that it shows the correct content and account. In order to do that, you're going to want to go to tools and settings here and then go to linked accounts. Now, once you're here, uh, you can see a whole host of different things that you can connect from Google. You have the Google Analytics, Google Merchant Center, and then you have at the bottom here, YouTube. Uh, you're going to want to connect these other accounts if you have those as well. But in this case, we're just going to connect the YouTube account. So click on details here. It's going to bring you to something that looks like this. So link YouTube to Google ads. You're going to go ahead and add your channel. And then you can just go ahead and search your channel name. So I'm going to go ahead and search the Blake Bauer, which is my YouTube channel. I'm going to go and click on this. I'm going to say I own this channel. I'm going to go to YouTube here. I have to just switch accounts here so that I'm signed into the correct user that owns this YouTube account. And as you can see here, it says Google ads linking. You're about to link the Google ads account 387 which is that Google accounts to this channel, Lake Bauer. So you can name this link here. So it helps identify the Google ads account you're linking your channel to. So I'm just going to name this Jetstream digital test account, which is this account that I'm using here. I can import the view counts, the remarketing and engagement. So I'm just going to select all of these and I'm going to go ahead and link that in there. Awesome. So as we can see, our account link is saved and we are good to go. That is now linked to our Google advertising account here. And you can see here we have right here, if I refresh this, boom, we have the YouTube account now linked. We have the permission to do view counts, remarketing and engagement. We can do some pretty cool things and set up remarketing lists and some audiences using our YouTube account so we can reach people that have viewed our videos, have liked our posts, have subscribed to our channel. And it's a great way to do remarketing if you have a product to sell or you just want to get a new video in front of your existing subscribers, for example. Or maybe you want to actually exclude your existing subscribers and show your video to new potential subscribers. You can also have the option to do that. Once that's linked, we're going to go back to Google ads here and back to the homepage. And regardless of which view of Google ads you're in, you're going to see a link here to go ahead and create a new campaign. So select on new campaign here. It's going to bring you to this, which is choosing your objective. When you're choosing your objective for your YouTube video, this is going to depend on what your goals are. For us, uh, that might be to drive sales, to drive leads, website traffic, product and brand consideration, awareness and consideration, app promotion, these different things. Now, in general, for your YouTube videos, if you are running a YouTube video trying to generate a sale to your website, to your product store for a particular product or service, you're going to want to select on sales. And that is a very different ad. That's a lot more intent based ad that's going to be tied to your business. So that's one way to do ads. Another way is leads. So this is again, the same thing, but instead of a sale, you're looking to generate leads or get contact information from people. So you're going to want to go ahead and set up a lead conversion event. And that's another campaign objective that you can select. Again, these both depend on setting up conversion events, which I have another video on the channel related to how to do that. You also have website traffic here. So again, if the goal of your YouTube video is to get clicks, people to your website, then you can select website traffic. If it's just for awareness and consideration, which for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do to get and reach a broad audience and build interest in your products or brand. So in this case, your YouTube account. So I'm going to select on this. And then what you're going to select is display video demand 
Imagine. We're going to select video here. Now, what you can do is video views. So get views engagement for people who are more likely to consider your product or brand. Only pay when someone chooses to watch your ad. Your ads can show a skippable in-stream, in-feed, or short ads. You can also do a video campaign, which is get more reach for your budget with bumper ads, skippable in-stream, new ad sequences, and then you can do audio. This is a new campaign that they have. So I'm going to select on video views here, which can help you get 40% more views at a lower cost per view by showing your videos across multiple ad formats to determine where they perform best. So this is the best objective that I would recommend. So select video views, go continue. Awesome. Now it's going to bring us to a page that looks like this where we can name our campaign name. So I'm just going to go YouTube video view campaign, and then I'm just going to go Lake Bauer. Awesome. Now our bid strategy here, we're not able to adjust this. We're just going to go target cost per view or CPV. There's other objectives here that you can do if you were doing a sales campaign or a lead campaign to try to generate at a certain CPA or ROAS target, which we're not going to get into. Um, now you can set your campaign total here. So if you know you only want to spend like $2,000 over the course of a month, then you can do that. If you want to do it daily, Daily, which is what I recommend to just kind of test it out and see what the results are going to be like. I'd recommend doing this. And then it never has an end date. You can just continue to run this ad forever. Pause it whenever you want. That's what I'd recommend. Setting this up for $10 per day. And then we'll go ahead and have that all set up. As far as networks here, you want to turn off video partners on Google Display Network. You can leave this on, but this is so your ad is only shown on YouTube, which is probably in most cases what you want. So leave that on. Go ahead and select your location. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it at Canada, but you can select whatever location you want. If you want to do like worldwide, you know, you could add in different countries and everything. Thing. I don't know. So I don't think you're able to do that, but what you can do here, or you can go all countries and territories. So this would be worldwide, but you could also do here easily going to United States, for example, and Canada. If you only want to reach people in these certain regions who might be interested in actually purchasing from you or are more high quality leads, this is going to result in a higher cost per view, obviously. If you did all countries and territories, you're going to get an extremely cheap cost per view, a lot more views. So you might want to explore that. But in this case, I'm just going to go Canada and the US. Now, as far as languages go, I am just going to select English. Boom. I'm just going to turn that back to Canada. So ad videos related to your video ads to help increase engagement. So this is where you can just add in some different videos that appear below your video ad that offer an impressive video experience to help reinforce your extent of your ads message. So these are just related videos that you have on your channel that you might also want people to check out. So you can easily set this up here by selecting this and I'll go ahead and add in a couple of video examples for you. So if I just go to my channel right here and let me just go ahead and grab a video that I want to use. So let's say I want to promote this 100 million with Hermosi video. Let me go ahead and select this. So you think you go ahead and pause that. Let me go ahead and add this in right here. I can see we have 100 million with Hermosi. I use Alex Hermosi's paid ads playbook. Let me go back here. Let me grab one more video as well. I'm going to grab this performance max campaign setup video as well. And boom, you can see me there. Go ahead and add this YouTube video in. Boom. Because we've connected the channel, these are both going to import in and see the views there. I'm going to go done. Awesome. I have those related videos in there. We can go product feed. So if you had products, your merchant center connected to your Google ad account and you have products and a physical store that you like an online virtual store that you want to sell your products of, then you can connect that here and you can actually promote your product feed to show with your ads as well. So that's a great way as well to increase your conversion event. But again, in that case, I would recommend doing a sales campaign. In this case, I'm not going to select this. Then we have multi-format ads. So get more views with multi-format ads, which is what I also would recommend doing so that you can use both skippable in-stream, in-video ads, short ads, different combinations of Google placements. Now, once we scroll down here, we have our ad group. So this is our video views. This is where you can add in your audience targeting. So maybe for us, this is what we want to target is advertising services. I make YouTube videos about advertising. And so I want to reach people that are interested in advertising services services, right? And so in this case, maybe I'll make my ad group that to narrow down to that targeting. What I can do here is just go to keywords. I can add in advertising services, and then I can go to topics right here, and then I'll search for advertising. And then you can see here we have advertising and marketing. So I'll select that. And then let's go to placements right here. I'm not going to do any placements, but if you had specific YouTube channels that you want to add videos to, you can go ahead and do that. So you can go ahead and enter in a list here of placement URLs, specific channels that you want to compete on, specific traffic that you know is going to be similar to your audience that you want to bid on. You can go ahead and add that into there, which is a great way to reach additional people. Uh, and then you can also go audience segments here. And this is where you can find like more in-market stuff. So I'm just going to do advertising again here. And then you can see uh, web advertising services. So online advertising, paid advertising. You can see a lot of people searching for that in market. And there's also advertising services here, which I'm going to also select that. And then we have advertising here as well. I'm not going to do that. We have business advertising. Let's go digital advertising services right here. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. So we have different advertising related things in our segments as well. We can do our demographics here. I'm going to turn off 18 to 24, and then I'm going to leave female, male, unknown, as well as all of these other interests. I'm just going to target people that are above this. 
if I can, because I know 1824 typically isn't my audience demo. Now we have all of that selected. We have a pretty broad audience segment selected. Again, this is what I would recommend doing. You don't need to go overboard with this and add a million things. Just add in a couple here, uh, even keywords. Right? If you really want to get specific on this, you can add this in. I'm actually going to take this out and just leave that as is. So this can be reaching a broad audience. And then we have advertising and marketing as well as a business and industrial, which is where select topics to show your ads and content about specific subjects. So this is great because now we have the audience segment targeted as this is the people define who should see your ads. So people that are interested in digital advertising services or web advertising services are going to see my actual ads. And then we scroll down here, the topics that they're going to show my ads on as far as the YouTube videos that they're being shown on are going to be related to advertising and marketing. So it perfectly syncs up. We have people that are interested in in market for advertising services being shown to people that are watching videos about advertising and marketing. perfectly works out, perfectly syncs up. And uh, it's a great way to reach people that are highly engaged and highly likely to actually check out my content, watch it through and potentially subscribe. So I'm going to scroll down here. Placements. Again, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then this is where we can add in our YouTube video. So we can add up to five videos and improve campaign performance by using videos with different orientations. So I'd recommend adding in five if you have five. If you only have a specific one or two that you want to add in, then you can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this in here. I'm going to go back. I am going to grab this one as well, a little case study. And let me just grab one more video. Again, I'd recommend adding in all of the videos, but in this case, I'm just going to add in a couple here. Going through his this other case study as well. So boom, let's go ahead and paste that in. Now we have three videos added. You can see what they're going to look like. They have my thumbnail. They have the video looking good and everything checks out, which is awesome. And then if I scroll down here, we also have our final URL, which in this case, you're going to want to add your YouTube account because we're going to want to get people to watch your YouTube video and then go to check out your YouTube account. Boom. So I'm just going to grab my YouTube URL right here. I'm going to go ahead and add this in as the final URL. And then you can see it's going to bring them to my YouTube channel. So my call to action right here, I'm actually just going to make my call to action subscribe. So as you can see here, when people see this ad, they're going to be able to click this link here, which says subscribe. So they're going to be brought to my YouTube channel where they can go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube account, which is awesome. And then I'll go ahead and add in my YouTube channel. Uh, that's the headline that's recommending. I'd actually recommend adding your at headline. So I'm going to add the at the Blake Bauer. Then you can add a long headline here. I'm just going to add in Blake Bauer on YouTube. And then I'm going to add a description here. I'm just going to say, hi, my name is Blake. Obviously, you want to add in the description that's relevant for your business and what you're trying to do with that. But you might want to say, you know, hi, my name is Blake. Please subscribe to my YouTube account. Awesome. Pretty simple here. And then this is where we're going to change the ad name to do, let's say, case studies. If I uploaded all my case studies right here. Uh, and boom, that is our first ad pretty much created, as you can see here. And then we can create another one if we wanted to as well um, with some different YouTube videos that we want to test out. Uh, and so that's pretty simple, pretty much how to do that. Now, if in the case of running your YouTube account, you didn't want to actually make your ad live, let's say you wanted to create an ad that you want to push out with a YouTube video, but you don't want it to be a published video on your ad account, then what you can do is go to the back end of your channel dashboard. You can go to content right here. And then when you upload and publish a YouTube video, you can just make it unlisted like one of these, for example. You can see, I think these are, this is just a draft actually. You can see this one is unlisted, right? So this one, delete me. Uh, which I do need to delete. But if I wanted to use this, I could actually grab the URL for this since it is unlisted. So I can grab this video link right here. I can go back to my campaign and I could add this video in right here, which is going to add me. And that's an unlisted video, so it's not public, but I can still use it in an ad, which is what I recommend because you want to make a three minute video. If you want a really high you know, trailer style video that's designed to sell something or get somebody to subscribe, maybe you can create a custom ad that's specifically designed for YouTube to get people to click and convert, especially if you're running a sales or lead gen campaign. This is what you want to do. You don't want to promote you know, YouTube videos that are public on your, on your YouTube as those are usually brand awareness plays and an ad should really be designed to get clicks and get attention and make sales. And so making that video less than three minutes and very high intent selling your company or your business or your brand, that's what that video should be about. So I'm going to go ahead and exit this out. Now, one last little pro tip for you here is in order to make a little pop up that shows like subscriber confirmed, so it gets people to subscribe to your account a little bit more easily is to add in this URL right here. So question mark sub underscore confirmed equals one. And then when somebody actually clicks on this link, it'll open up a little preview tab. So that's pretty much how to create your first YouTube ad. Then you scroll down here. Lastly, is just your bid. So your target cost per view right here. Google is going to recommend to you based on your targeting settings, what you should put. And I just recommend putting what Google says here, because depending on how competitive what you're searching for and what you're bidding on is going to be, that cost per view is going to go up. So for me, I'm obviously targeting competitive space. I'm targeting Canada with advertising related services on advertising related videos. And so the cost per view on that is going to be a decently expensive. And so I'm going to do 0.13 cents on that particular video. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and create this campaign. Boom. 
It's going to want me to confirm this quickly. Great campaign. You can see, congratulations, your campaign is ready. I'm going to go ahead and go continue to campaign. And as you can see, our first YouTube campaign with Google Ads is now live. It's going to promote those videos that we selected at $10 a day to Canada. And now we have our YouTube ad right here. We can go to ads right here. And we actually look at this video. We can edit this and we can go ahead and create more ads as well if we want to right from here. You can also adjust your cost per view. You can go to settings right here to adjust things. You can go to the uh, actual campaign right here, go to settings and adjust all this as well. And there's some additional things on the left here that you can see that you can go ahead and adjust and play around with. So that's how to set up Google ads for a YouTube video to start getting more views, more watch time and more subscribers. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. It really helps a small channel like mine grow. I really appreciate it. And if you did have any questions or issues in doing this and setting this up, Definitely leave me a comment below letting me know what your issue is. And I'm happy to personally get back to you and help you to set up this first campaign. Now, if you're a company that's above a million dollars per year and you want help in promoting your YouTube ads and growing your business with Google ads and other paid advertising channels, then I recommend checking out the description below and book a call with my team so that we can see if we're a good fit to help you as a growth partner, grow and scale your business with paid advertising and digital marketing. And with that, thank you so much for checking out the video. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.